Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're watching AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is, of course, March 1st, 2017, and I'm just watching President Trump's presidential address to Congress, essentially his first State of the Union. First thing I have to say is bravo to the President. And notice how the dweebs that make up the Democrats, anytime Trump talks about eradicating terrorism, they sit. They won't clap. Anytime he talks about creating jobs, they sit all pissed off in their seats. Anytime he talks about making America great again, they sit and slouch in their seats. And they're only exposing themselves for who they really are, because we should be coming together and unifying as a country. And I think the President of the United States did an incredible job of that last night. He was comical at times. Like the name drop, Harley Davidson, by the way. I wonder how much they paid him for that. I just met with officials and workers from the great American company, Harley Davidson. In fact, they proudly displayed five of their magnificent motorcycles made in the USA on the front lawn of the White House. But it was a fantastic speech. Even many of Donald Trump's critics are giving him a broad vote because it is a speech and a message about not just making America great again, it's about unity, bringing together a divided country. Trump even alludes to Lincoln in his speech, for a time of great division. And now the time, now is the time where Democrats should be getting out of their seats. And they should be clapping. And they should be helping to make the country great again. At a time of enormous challenges. Now I got a tweet, a direct message from one of our underground members this morning. said, Christopher, the Dow just hit 21,000. Are we in a bubble? <laughs> and I, I'm laughing out loud this morning as I'm making my uh, cup of coffee. Yes, we are in a bubble. Dow 21,000 is absolutely a bubble. Donald Trump has a lot of experience in bankruptcy. So during the next collapse, and I'm not trying to take a hit at Donald Trump, that's just a fact, he's got a lot of experience in bankruptcy. So when things do crash again, when we live through the next collapse, he'll just restructure, default on the debt. And that's exactly what's going to happen. You see, I love Trump. I love him to death. I think he's doing an amazing job. I support Donald Trump. I supported his campaign. I support him now. Go Trump. Go kick some ass. Make America great again. But here's the problem with Trump. Trump's God is money and it's ego. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Which is why he'll never go after the Federal Reserve System. Now if I was President of the United States, my first order of business would be to destroy the Federal Reserve, a criminal cartel, and a criminal private bank. This is something that Ron Paul talked about. Many of us within the alternative community have been talking about for years.